What's going on? Little Dap, it's Jared Muntz, former pro and founder of OnlineSoccerAcademy.com. Today we're learning how to chest a ball. This is what it looks like. Using your chest is one way to control a ball out of the air. There are multiple styles, reasons, and ways to control a ball using your chest. Today, we're learning the basic style to control a ball using your chest. This video is geared towards beginner players and their coaches, but it of course can be applied to players of all ages and abilities. Key points. Key point number one. Spread your feet out about the width of your shoulders for balance. Number two. Lean back slightly, keep your arms out to your side, shoulders facing the ball, not turned. Number three, have the ball hit the center of your chest, right below your clavicle bone, and have it land towards your dominant foot. Number four, if the ball is coming at you slow, you need to pop it up and push it forward. If it's coming at you fast, you need to cushion it in more. Think of receiving a pass with your foot. If the ball is coming at you slow, you need to push it forward with your foot. If the pass is coming at you fast, you need to cushion it in more to set up a great first touch. The same applies with chesting a ball. Number five, your chest trap should set the ball up a foot or two ahead of you. Don't let it just drop right under your body because then you're not setting yourself up well for a pass or a shot on your second touch. You're gonna need a soccer ball and a partner. If you don't have a partner, use a wall or a fence. An exercise we can do to practice. I'm gonna give you two exercises. One to do with your partner and the second will be an exercise to do by yourself. The first exercise is with your partner. Have your partner hold the ball in their hands standing about three yards away from you. They toss it to you, you chest trap it and pass it back to them when it hits the ground or out of the air depending on your skill level. Do this ten times then switch with your partner. Repeat for three sets or until you're tired. Here's a bonus tip for you. Your partner should toss you the ball straight on with good pace and it'll be easier for you to control versus lobbied it in with soft pace. And make sure it's an underhand toss. I need you to be my partner. If you don't have a partner, there are two ways to practice this. First, stand by a fence or wall. Toss the ball underhand off the fence so it comes back to your chest. Chest trap it, then pass the ball to yourself off the wall, either on the ground or out of the air. If you don't have a fence, then toss the ball up in the air with backspin. Let it hit the ground, bounce back towards you, then you chest trap it and make a short pass. Go get your ball, then repeat. Do this 10 times, rest, then repeat three sets or until you're tired. Some things that could be going wrong for you. If the ball is flying all over the place and not down at your feet, it's because you're turning your shoulders. Keep your shoulders facing the ball so your touch will go in front of you. As you become more advanced, then you can start turning your shoulders to direct the ball to go in directions that you want it to. If the ball is falling at your feet but you can't get a good pass, it's because the ball is too close to you. You need to push your touch forward a bit. Think of a game situation. You don't just stand on one leg and then swing the other. You take a step and then make a pass. With the chest trap, your touch needs to be a bit ahead of you so you have room to take that step before you pass or shoot. Bonus tip, don't chest the ball too high 
Because what does it take for the ball to come out of the air? It takes time. If you chest it too high and it takes a few seconds for the ball to come down and there's a defender a few seconds away, that gives them the time they need to close you down and pressure you. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy training video. Like, rate, and share this video if you did. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or sign up and become a member for free at onlinesocceracademy.com. Players all over the world use it. You can do game reviews and track your progress. Post a comment and let me know how this video worked for you. My name is Jared Munts. And until next time, remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!